Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Baring, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about what causes parasites or intestinal worms. So this is something that can happen if your gut ecology sort of sets you up for this scenario. So definitely we want to maintain a healthy diversity of the microbes in our gut. That means having enough of the good guys, the probiotics, and not too many of the bad guys. So if we're suffering, we're lacking in probiotics, what can happen is is that those negative organisms, so the parasites, the worms, the intestinal worms, the candida, and you know those unfavorable bacteria can really take over like we see here, and this can be one of those causes. So making sure that we are getting enough of our probiotics every day is an important part of our daily diet, but sometimes people need to go to a supplement as well. So another cause for parasites or intestinal worms could be the SAD diet, and what does SAD stand for the standard American diet in which there's a lot of junk food and fast food and not a great diversity of you know live raw foods to help to feed that healthy microbiome also lacking in fiber and that is very common in people eating a traditional standard American diet is lack of fiber lack of enough raw nutrients from fruits and vegetables and yes, healthy grains are somewhat controversial when we're talking about having a healthy overall diet. Also for people who eat a lot of sushi, so you may have heard this before, that sushi and uncooked meat in general, so this could be especially pork and chicken if it's not well cooked, can set you up for in having a lot of those parasites. Also raw fruits and vegetables, so yeah, even the vegetarians and the vegans out there who think, okay, you only get it for meat, absolutely not. And this has actually been found in studies on lettuce and things from different countries that sure enough the North American lettuce actually had more parasites and was contaminated in terms and the more organic you go here's the scary thing so the healthier you're being even the organic produce, so fruits and vegetables, tend to even have more parasites because they're not using a lot of the conventional pesticides on those produce. So yeah, you're being healthy, but at the same time, what are you doing to counteract the fact that maybe you're getting those parasites? Also, if you do you know, a lot of gardening, you're outside and gardening, you can pick them up through your skin, as well as in farming. So if you do have a farm or you have been around a farm, you can be picking up parasites here as well. Certainly if you've traveled and a lot of people have experienced this probably more so in the past than when this video has been <laughs> shot because a lot of people are not traveling right now but in the fact that you know you could have traveled even years ago and picked up a parasite and it's still not resolved it's still living and they multiply so they are living in your digestive tract. Also if you have pets you're definitely more prone to picking up parasites and certain medications can also make you prone for having parasites because they have an impact on what's going on in terms of your acid in your stomach and usually when you have good digestion and enough stomach acid it will kill most parasites if they are ingested also antibiotics can set you up for this dysbiosis as well and not having enough of your good flora your good probiotics to protect you so this is part of I really wanted you to know about the causes of parasites and intestinal worms the good news is that I have my nine tips as to how to get rid of them and what to do about this and making sure that you're doing those nine tips at least a few times a year because we never know when we do have parasites. You don't overtly have to have symptoms to know that you have those parasites. So it's really important for our overall health to take care of these things and of course doing it naturally. So I'm sure you've got some questions and comments. Please do leave them in the comment section below. Also be sure to share this video with someone who you know will benefit from this information. And give me a big thumbs up. I truly appreciate all of your positive feedback. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Make sure that you are subscribed and you click that bell so you are always notified of my newest and latest uploads. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today.